And so for the time being, when people say, well, which vaccine should I get? I'd say, get the one you can get today. Dr. Zeke McKinney saying the COVID-19 vaccines are all effective, even AstraZeneca, that he's researching at Health Partners. In clinical trials, it reduces transmission by about 60% that the doctor says is pretty good. For all the vaccines that have existed for the history of time, even prior to COVID, and including our COVID vaccines, uh, that's never been 100% and probably never will be 100%. He asks three questions to study a vaccine's effectiveness, including does it prevent transmission, does it prevent disease, and does it prevent severe disease? In terms of effectiveness, I don't know that I like any one better than the other because they all work pretty good. And I still think we have a long way to go to understand uh, the difference between pretty good and super great. Unlike the Pfizer vaccine, AstraZeneca can be stored in normal refrigerators, making it cheaper too. Dr. McKinney also thinks it could get FDA approval next month. Regulators in Canada gave it a go today, while the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be in the mix by the weekend. The potential supply increase had President Biden predicting yesterday any adult who wanted a vaccine could get one in one to three months. Minnesota health officials are hoping by summer. We may get to a point in the next two, three, four months where uh, demand, uh, supply actually outweighs demand. Adding a speedy vaccination rollout means we can also enjoy the things we used to more quickly. Otherwise, we're going to be living in this world of things being shut down for a long time. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. Besides Canada, health leaders in the European Union, United Kingdom and Australia have already authorized the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine.